Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So we're back at it again today and we are carrying on with renovating our van. Um, so today we've got quite a few things to do. I'll just find my list one second. So we are gonna do a spice rack. Dom's gonna make us a little spice rack to obviously hold our spices. And um, we're gonna make a cup holder for the front of the car. And then I'm gonna go through all of the food that we own and try and fit it into these little boxes that we got. And then, yeah, just see where we're at and how much space we've got. And then the last thing is Dom's gonna try and figure out how to make bench locks. So a way of locking our benches down so that when we're out, um, no one can get into them. And I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah, pretty much that's it. So there's quite a bit to do today. Um, so let's get to it. So Dom's just drawing some plans up for us for the spice rack. It looks very, very intricate and confusing, but thankfully we're using these little bits of wood scrap that we had from, um, from the backboard. So that's really great. So we use those up really well. All right, so I'm hoping this spice rack is going to go a little bit quicker than the backboard did yesterday. That seemed to take forever, um, but it's going to be really easy. I'm just going to do one piece of wood down the front of it, the two sides, and then a base, obviously, to hold the spice racks. Um, got the same little sketchy soaring setup as the last video, so if anyone was flinching at that, then sorry if there's a little bit more to come. Uh, but yeah, we're nearly done now, so that'll be the end of it. I'm ready for the road. But yeah, let's get on with soaring this wood for the spice rack. See how it turns out. So that's all the rough cutting of the wood done. I've purposely done it a little bit outside of the measurements that I'd made, um, just so I can sand it down and it be a bit more precise. Because with something as intricate as this, you can't kind of, um, you can't like flex the wood into place or anything like that. It needs to be pretty precise. So yeah, purposely made the wood too big at the moment and then I can sand it down into perfect shape. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. So we've got these two side bits. This will be the base. And this bit's gonna sit in front just like that. Oh, hello. Happy <laughs> But yeah, pretty happy with how it's looking so far, so I'll get down to the sanding work now. Alright, rain check. It's taking way too long just sanding it down, so I'm going to go back to Sora and get it a little bit close and then just sand it to finish it. So we've not brought the stuff down to drill it or anything yet, but this is how it's going to be looking. So pretty happy with that. All right, so it's time to do one of the most intimidating parts of this whole thing, I reckon, um, which is the cup holder in the front. So because it's been so long, I've had so long to think about it. What I'm thinking is I'll try and make it out of cardboard, which could be a mission in itself. Do like two layers stuck together to reinforce it, and make it a bit stronger, and then maybe do a layer of PVA glue on the top to kind of make it a bit more um, maybe waterproof and a bit more resistant to life. So yeah, not quite sure how this is going to go. It's kind of going to be a bit of a, a trial and error, but I feel like most of the things that we're doing on this van are because we've never done it before. So yeah, I've just been and measured out um, the shape of the seat that it's going to fit into. So I'm just going to start measuring, measuring shapes up, start sticking stuff together and see what happens. <music> Alright, so that's that all finished up. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow morning to actually fit it into the van because it's dark now and it's getting late. Um, but I'm going to crack on and do this slash shelf real quick. So this is for underneath the counter inside the van. Um, basically what we're going to do is get all the kitchen stuff under there. But we've just got this tray that we're going to slide in and out that's got the plates and balls in. Um, but it, it's got nowhere to go at the minute so we're just going to build a little shelf that that can sit on. Um, 
But yeah, I'm just going to do that inside. I'm not too bothered about the sawdust because I've done this before when I was at home and the hoovers just pick it up nice and easy. So I'd rather crack on and get it all finished and then tomorrow morning, first thing, I can get it all in the van, get it finished and then it's all done. So yeah, here we go. We're just putting the spice rack up, just measuring it all. So right now I'm just marking up the wood on this backboard for where we need to drill the holes to mount this. So I'm going to go for three holes, one through there, one through there and then just one in the middle just there. Um, but obviously it's going to be really hard to do this because we're going to need to screw in from the other side. But the holes need marking on from this side just so we know where we actually need to line the spice rack up. So I'm just doing a load of measuring just to make sure it's all going to end up in the right place and then as soon as that's done we can get to hanging it up. So that looks so good and now it's standing by itself. <laughs> How happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Pretty happy. <laughs> You've done amazing. What's next? Alright so next up just really quickly going to hang the shelf that we made late last night. So that's just going to be sitting in there like that. Awesome. Sweet, so same thing again, I'm just going to measure up um, kind of where it's going to sit and then measure in, in between them so that it fits into the middle of this wood, ready for hanging it into the shelf. So now the moment of truth, does it work? <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is try and get this to stick together better um, because it, the wood's warped and so it's kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't look very good or very sturdy so yeah. We're going to try and put a nail through to try and pinch them back together again. See how it goes. <laughs> just the worst that can happen. So we're just going to fill it with this no nail stuff and then push the screw in so that it sticks together and then hopefully that will solve our problems. This is going to splurge everywhere. Yes, yes it is. Looks like a peanut butter sandwich. Yes, yes that's worked so well. What's next on the list, Mr. P? So, we're going to do these bench locks. So, what we're thinking is we got this chain the other day and we've got a couple of padlocks. So, we've already got the finger holes here that we used to get into um, that we used to get into the bench. So, I'm just going to make another hole somewhere and then we'll just feed the chain through, padlock it, and then obviously you won't be able to get into it because of the locks. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we didn't get um, any more drill bits, we just got two drill bits and they're both quite small so what I'm going to try and do is drill in a circle and then just try and knock it out. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so that seems to have worked pretty well. So I'm just going to see how easy it is to thread this chain through. I imagine this will be a lot easier with two hands rather than one but I'm not going to be beaten by it. There we go, and then we can lock that down, cover it up with the seats like normal so that, you know, like when people can see that there's something locked away then they kind of think it might be worth breaking into or whatever, but yeah, so we'll just cover it up so you can't even see the chain, but then it gives us that extra bit of security. If we do need it, we'll just put the padlock through these links, and that'll be nice and secure. Happy day, so I'm just going to do the other end as well, so we'll just film that, and then that'll be the locks all sorted.
All right, so the last part of this video is the cup holder. So this is that one that I made last night. So I reinforced it two layers on the top, just so hopefully it's a little bit stronger. Um, I realized halfway through that I could have just made this out of wood, so I don't know why I did cardboard. Um, but we'll see how this holds up anyway, and I can always remake it if I need to. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use this old trusty little super, I don't know, what is it? Zero nails, heavy duty construction it's adhesive. weird stuff, like, it's just like, <laughs> it's not sticky, it's just gloopy. <laughs> but yeah, might as well use that to stick this in, because we know it does the job. And yeah, what's the worst that's going to happen, eh? <laughs> so yeah, we'll just leave that to set now and then see how we get on. Sweet, so we're going to end this video here. Um, the next one's going to be the last one. So we're one video away from moving in and setting off, which is super, super, super exciting. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, don't take the mess out of me from my cardboard cup holder. I've got to try these things there. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done already. Other than that, have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.